A dangerous virus is spreading rapidly in China, and U.S. officials are very worried. We're going to turn now to that devastation in Australia, where thousands of firefighters and first responders are battling unprecedented wildfires. Just after 6 p.m. local time on Tuesday, the 4th of August. <laughs> News Decision Desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president. Twenty twenty was a crazy year. There's a lot that I want to include, but I want to limit the length of the video. Feel free to add any event that I didn't mention in the comment section. January 3rd, 2020. Qasem Soleimani, an Iranian major general responsible for foreign operations and for the deaths of thousands of people due to his involvement with terrorist groups from all around the world, is killed. An American drone strike close to the Baghdad International Airport killed him instantly. This led to a new high in tensions between the United States and Iran. Just five days later, an Iranian missile shot down a Ukrainian plane. While Iran first denied this, a video showing the missile circulated on social media. This launched fear for World War III. And many memes appeared. But luckily, the power of democracy managed to solve this crisis, and the world went back to normal. Nah, Fight. just kidding. Around the same time, Australia was on f***ing fire. Due to record-breaking temperatures and months of severe drought, a big part of the country was on fire. Especially the states of New South Wales and Victoria were hit extremely hard. Billions of animals, approximately 18 million hectares, and 34 people died. On top of that, it was an awful deal for the climate, and the damage was worth an estimated 103 billion Australian dollars. But the show must go on. I'm assuming you know what's next. He who cannot be named. Corona. The first reports of the virus already started in December 2019. It all started in Wuhan city, an average Chinese city. The virus spread and people started to worry the moment the CCP, Chinese Communist Party, decided to fully lock down the city. It didn't take long for the virus to spread from city to city country to country, but the West didn't care enough as information given by China was very limited. But when the virus reached Europe, the world went bananas. Countries went into a lockdown in early to mid-March. Hospitals were flooded and the needed medical attention and equipment was very low. And for some strange reason, with the help of fake news, everyone started buying toilet paper. People were scared of a shortage in food and supplies and they started to stock up. The world was on fire. No Australia not talking to you. This caused the worst economic crisis since World War II. Governments did everything to limit the damage, from giving checks to people so that they could survive, to starting many initiatives to support small businesses. In the meanwhile, a lot of jobs were lost, and a sizable portion of the population was temporarily jobless. In short, we were screwed. March and April had been hard, but none of us were ready for what May would bring us. On May 25th, 2020, George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man was killed in Minneapolis, Minnesota by white police officer Derek Chauvin. While the officer sat on his neck, George was suffocating and he was screaming, I can't breathe. This caused the black community to rage. While doing mostly peaceful protests, a part of the protesters used the opportunity to riot and loot local stores. Very soon, the movement spread around the world and monuments all around the world were being destroyed because of their sensitive background. This was a trend all over the world and many other monuments were destroyed. The protests continued as almost every month a new case of police violence was discovered. The movement is still very active, but as of late, the attention had steadily decreased in the media. August 4th. All of a sudden, different videos from a massive explosion in Beirut, Lebanon, are everywhere. The scary mushroom cloud shows the scale of the explosion. The cause? 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate that had been stored unsafely at a warehouse in the port. The damage was insane. 200 people died and another 5,000 people were injured. During the summer, Australia had been completely forgotten about. And it was the American sector. The west coast was on fire. This, besides dealing a lot of damage, also turned the sky above cities like San Francisco apocalyptic red. And you have to keep in mind that this was in 2020, the year when everyone thought the world would end. One of the many fires that were terrorizing the west coast 
was caused after a gender reveal party. The fire was named El Dorado and more than 22,000 acres were destroyed. Oh yeah, someone died. On the 9th of August, Belarus was having elections. And because it's such a free and democratic country, the winner was known before the elections. Alexander Lukashenko won with more than 90% of the votes. Even though nobody voted for him, everyone knew that they were lying. So protests erupted in the streets of Minsk. These were violently oppressed by the army and the police forces. And protesters were beaten up and released with bruises and other painful injuries. Because it was going out of hand and more and more people started to protest, the president even showed the media his AK in a pathetic <laughs> attempt to scare the people. You know what 2020 was missing? A real war. And that's exactly what Azerbaijan and Armenia were doing. An old disagreement and conflict of the region of Nagorno-Karabakh, which is an Armenian region that is part of Azerbaijan, came back to life. The war started escalating back around the 27th of September after Azerbaijan launched a new offensive supported by Turkey because they don't like Armenia. <coughs> Armenian genocide. <laughs> During the offensive, drones and artillery were mainly used, leading to 6,000 people to have died in the conflict. Luckily, the war calmed back down on the 10th of November after a ceasefire was signed. November 3rd, election day, the candidates are President Donald Trump and ex-Vice President Joe Biden. It wouldn't be America if there wasn't some sort of controversy. Trump claimed that the votes that came in by mail, a popular way because of the virus, are fraudulent Wrong. because they can be faked so easily. Trump's team took it to court, but the court doesn't think the same. Election day and the following days were intense. Eventually, the results came in. The 46th president in the United States of America is Joe Biden, accompanied by Kamala Harris the first female vice president. Some celebrated, some cried, and I hope that I won't have to make a video about him in four years. And the world finally heard the good news. There's a vaccine. The UK was the first country to allow the vaccine, and at the time of writing, it's being mass produced. 2020 was a difficult year, and 2021 isn't the end of our misery. But what I want to share with the world is that we made it this far, and we shouldn't give up. You should be proud of yourself for making it through all those obstacles. And as a message to the youth, you can make it. Be strong and don't be scared to ask for help when you feel like you can't take it anymore. Unfortunately, we also lost many people, close ones and famous people. I don't want this video to be too sad, but I feel obligated to include some notable and some rather personal deaths at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and it would be fantastic if you could share it, like and subscribe. Thank you so much.